Why, hello everybody, and thanks for joining me today. I'm Kyle uh, with This Is Drive, and today we're gonna be talking about some exciting news from my perspective, and that is that Toyota is coming out with the Camry and Avalon for 2020 with all-wheel drive. Now, that may not mean a lot for you guys out in California, or Southern California, rather. However, for those of us who spend a lot of time in the Midwest or on the East Coast, this is actually some pretty exciting news. Now, I'm a big fan of full-size sedans. In fact, I'm not a huge crossover buff. I do enjoy, of course, some big SUVs, but I am ultimately a car person, which is why the all-wheel drive poses some significance to this lineup, especially when it comes to the fact that this will be one of the only full-size sedans that you can get, of course, that being the Camry and the Avalon uh, with all-wheel drive. Now, of course, Full-size sedans are definitely on the downswing right now as far as sales numbers go. However, Toyota is investing with, the, with this new technology to say, hey, you know, our sedans, they're here to stay. They're part of our brand lineup and we're not giving up on them. Now, the all-wheel drive system is what Toyota calls simple all-wheel drive. And that means that the Camry and Avalon, of course, when equipped with all-wheel drive system, can direct up to 50% of the engine torque to the rear wheels in response to acceleration from a start or slippage at the front wheels. And then when all-wheel drive isn't needed, such as on long highway drives or what have you, the electromagnetic controlled coupling on the front of the rear drive axle can actually disengage the propeller shaft from the differential to prioritize fuel economy over traction, which is, of course, what you need and what you get with all-wheel drive. So to re-engage in an instant when needed, the all-wheel drive operation is transparent to the driver and passenger, so you won't even notice it. And on that note, the Camry and Avalon all-wheel drive panels match their front-wheel drive counterparts in critical passenger space, trunk room, ride comfort, cabin quietness, and vehicle agility. Now that's what they say, I believe them, but I would love to test out the all-new Avalon and Camry all-wheel drive to find out if the hype lives up. So that's what we have for you guys today on this news flash of the 2020 Toyota Camry and Avalon all-wheel drive.